How y'all doing? Are y'all excited for the day? Y'all coming on the inside? We hope so. We hope we can. I can get you in. You see, I I can get you in. I don't know nobody in there, but I can get you in. <laughs> You're hitting the town with your boy Tony Towns and we are here at the main event, season two premiere of Empire's Viewing Party, right here at Man Cave in Studio City, California. Tons of people have poured out. As you know, season one left us hanging on by our seats. Now hundreds of people have poured out to see season two. Some of your biggest stars and some of the most excited fans are here to check out the show. Let's go check it out. Are you here at Empire's season premiere Viewing Party? Are we excited about season two? I'm excited. I mean, we're going to have season two, three, four, five, six, seven. We want 10 seasons. We want 10 seasons. We want 20 seasons. We, you hear that, Fox? We want 20 seasons. Cheryl said it. I didn't say it. I'm sorry. This is my boo right here. Hi, Oh, my God. Miss Beth Payne. We're right here. This is happening. This, this is hitting the town. We're hitting the town. We're back hitting the town again. We're hitting it. Look. Remember, we was doing the Nene at the BET Awards. Ah. Ah. What's the Nene? Now watch me One, two. Now watch me win. That's the Nene. Nene. <laughs> Look at him, look at him. I bought this at the dollar store. Nija Kali. You were on stage. You did a wonderful, marvelous performance. The crowd was roaring, they were excited. You have a beautiful voice. Could you tell us a little bit about your artistry? I'm just in love with it. I just feel like, to describe my music, I feel like it's a 90s feel with a little bit of my personality in there, with just a lot of funk. I love funky stuff. And I just love stuff that makes me feel good, you know? You just did something to me. <laughs> you getting ready, Eddie. It's about to be showtime. We in VIP with the owner, yes, the man himself. Yes, sir. Eddie, this is the VIP section for the Empire Viewing Party, what season two. Yes, sir. You have exclusive access. You're bringing in all the stars. You're bringing in all the fans. Why is Man Cave such a huge attraction every single year for Empire? Well, it's because we have a personal relationship with the people that put the show together. You know, we got Henry Butler and his wife, who's Leah Daniels, who casted the show. Her brother's Lee Daniel. Not to mention, we have great food. We got so much space in here. We got all these TVs. We got a great sound system. So it's really no better place to watch the show. You here to see Empire, your granddaddy, your granddaddy saying, how does it feel to be a grandma to see that? Great. He getting taken care of by this. The Empire right here. This is Lucius and Hakeem ready. How was it performing tonight, brother? It was a good performance. You literally had everybody in the building rooting for you, clapping for you, excited to see you up there. How does that make you feel? It felt, it felt really good, yeah. And I hear your dad has been a huge inspiration. How has your dad been inspiring to you? He's been inspiring to me just because He's always told me to go forward and keep it pushing, no matter the negativity. My name is Mirage. It's so many people that would love to have this access. You're here in VIP. You're a star. Why do so many people, are so many people drawn to this show, particularly? In well, I think that everyone can relate to the show. You know, everyone can relate to it because, you know, whatever struggle you've been through, you know, you can, you know, always relate to trying to come up. You know, and um, music, of course, music ties everyone together. It's my personal belief that it's not just me, but I think that music is the one thing that ties all humans together, you know? Angel Tyrone. Angel, could you tell us a little bit about your show? You got a new play coming out. It's a highly anticipated play. Could you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, it's, um, it's entitled Angry and Secure Men. Um, it's based on my true life story, domestic violence with three relationships. Um, it's going to be at the Wilshire E. Bell, November 6th and 7th, and um, I mean, we have a terrific cast. We have Christopher Williams uh, from New Jack City, uh, Willie Taylor from Day 26, and Love of Hip Hop Hollywood. Is Willie going to be on it? Yes, Willie is. So, yes, Willie. shout out to Willie. Listen, we're about to go in the kitchen to get an exclusive on what be popping back off in the kitchen here at Man Cave. Uh, I don't know if it's legal or not, but we're going to do it. How's it going, brothers? We're doing an exclusive show for Eddie. As you can see here at the Man Cave, these brothers are back here. They're some of the best chefs and cooks in town. They whipping together some french fries, some chicken, anything you name. Only here at Man Cave do they serve some of the best food in Hollywood. 
we here right now with this wonderful choreographer, Naya. Naya, listen, you and your brother, it's been a family affair. Hell, it's an empire inside. Your daddy owns an empire. You perform with your brother. How was that experience putting the show together? Um, it was really fun. I got to work with two of my good friends, and I got to work with my brother and be able to choreograph and be able to put it on a large scale in front of a lot of people. I'm here with Miss Vanessa. Vanessa, you've been on everything. Uh -huh. I mean, every single TV show, every movie. You yeah. here? I guess. I guess Empire is next, right? Empire is next for you and Miss Jackie Christie. Both of y'all gonna be on there. Right? Exactly. Exactly. Why do you think this is such? A big draw every single season. All these people pour off an empire. Come to Man Cave. Listen, we are we're black people who have a, a, an amazing story to tell. Amazing story to tell. We want to see our beautiful images on stage and on screen. And it's just our time. You know, Taraji's putting it down. She's like real black girl. All day. We got like hashtag Willy won't Willy will. That's what I had. Like, we live for that. You know, and who, and which the music, oh, I mean, the Jesse Smollett, we were telling him, I was telling him this summer when I saw him, I was like, Jesse, the, the, the rest of the world's getting to find out what we've always known. So it's just a wonderful, like Viola said, you know, we have the opportunity and there's lots and lots of stars and amazing uh, talent out there that we with, that we get to see when we have the opportunity. Why is it such a big draw and why should people come? You know what, it's amazing. Empire, first of all, is a fabulous show. We all love it. It's something that's bringing us into a new age in, you know, in television. I'm on a reality show. I've been on it four years. This is my fifth season. We just got greenlit today. So for Empire to be coming out and it's a scripted show and to have Cookie and Lucius Lyons and all of this different stuff, music, hip-hop, all the different things that we go through and we identify with is amazing. So I'm going to support. I'm going to be out here. I see myself as Cookie. They call me the reality show Cookie. So I love it. Of course. I'm here with Christian Keys. What's going on? Mr. Keys, my Flint native, Beecher native. How does it feel to see so much love shown to a lot of people of color on TV? I think it's, it's long overdue. I think the fact that we're not trying to break it down and overly critique it, but celebrate it, I think it's long overdue. It's a hell of a show. Um, hopefully I can cuss on here. It's a hell of a show. <laughs> and, um, and, and knowing some of the cast members personally, it's, it's long overdue to see it's it's celebrated and exonerated and, 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 and liberated just we own some greatness. We own ratings records and, and it the show is beastly. I can't wait till next week. I'm offended that I gotta wait seven more days for another episode. Yeah, okay, you should that. be ashamed of yourself. No, you shouldn't. You should just <laughs> hire me. But uh I gotta put this on the show. You ready? You know, we were some of the best fans in town, Empire fans. We about to take a group picture. They let me be a part of this. He take, hold on. I think he got it. I bought this at the dollar store. And I bought this at the situation. I bought this, what did I, I bought this at Target. We. You got it. You get my good side. See, I like you. How you doing? How you doing? You with your boo? I don't want to get knocked out, brother. I'm just here doing the job. I'm not lit. She's beautiful. That's yours. It ain't mine. Call me later. I got a car for you. Do y'all got? Do y'all need any help? Yes. Well, guess what? I just got me a new job. Put my apron on. I'm going to get to work because these brothers look like they need some help. Some of the best cooks, some of the best chefs in the state of California, I would say around the nation, whipping up some stuff for the fans here. And whipping up some stuff for the fans here at the Empire Viewing Party. Ain't nobody got it better like this. Ain't nobody got it like this. See, Naya, I don't know how to dance. I don't know nothing about it. I know a two-step, though. I know how to do, I can do a mean two-step, Naya. As a choreographer, what was the inspiration behind putting your brother's show together? Because it was a lot of intricate moves, moves I couldn't do. I only can do the robot. That's all I can do. But y'all had some, like, Michael Jackson. Y'all had a little bit of Beyonce. Y'all had everything. All the major hot dancers was incorporated into the performance. What was the inspiration? Um, well, Beyonce. I love I love Beyonce, and I, I really like watching Chris Brown. People like Usher, and when when I heard my brother's song, I really thought about Usher and Chris Brown and the kind of moves that they use on tours and stuff. Your brother is a rising star. I mean, he's, what, 10, 11, 12 years old? He, 11. He's 11 years old. He's been performing since he was like 7 years old, and you've seen him grow. How has that experience been? It's been good, you know, he's he's really put in a lot of hard work every day you know, at the studio and vocal lessons, so I'm glad to see him actually pull it together. Everybody is here, oh come over here, they they move, they going crazy. What's happening? 
it turns up at the end part. He, he crazy. They turning up. Watch out. Watch out, y'all. Y'all better move out the way. These brothers ain't playing. Black Lives Matter. We have a lot of fans now. Where can your fans find you? What, what social media? They can find me on Snapchat. And tell us your Snapchat name. Eddie J37. And how old are you, Eddie? 11 years old. You're 11 years old, been performing since you were seven. The sky's the limit for you, brother. Congratulations. Any final words for your fans? Um, look out for your album. Look out for my album. Hollywood is seeing so many powerful black women of color grace the television. You had three black women win an Emmy the other night. Yes. That was absolutely historical, amazing. Absolutely. And why is it important to have more women of color on the TV screen? Well, what was really key about those wins, again, like I quoted uh, Viola t uh, earlier, it was about the opportunity. And what was key about those wins, it was that were other women of color and people of color putting those women in that place. So it's about our telling our stories as we, as we talk about our dreams and what we want to do. We want to do it on both sides of the camera. We want to be on the decision-making sides. We want to be Shonda Rhimes. We want to be Lee Daniels. We want to create opportunities for ourselves and people who look like us and for our stories to be told. That's what's key. We're about to go live here at the Man Cave in the kitchen. I'm about to help these brothers cook. As you can see, I'm kitchen ready. I don't know what I'm doing, but we're about to go. So you got to tune in live. Table five ready, fellas. All right, we out of here. Hurry up, Eddie's about to kick us out. Hurry up, let's get out of here. Eddie's here, as you can see. Yeah, table five ready. Table five is ready. ready. Table seven. Thank you for watching. Please click the link right here to subscribe and click the link right here to watch our previous videos. For more, hit in the tab.